hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video we will design a progress button without using any third party library so for this go to android studio now go to your design or your any activity class and xml file remove the constraint layout and add the relative layout now inside the relative layout take one card view height should be match parent sorry 60 dp and width to be match parent now add add card elevation that of 10 dp to 8 dp now add card background color that is 8a to be 3 also give radius that is corner radius of 35 dp now inside the card view add one relative layout that of match parent match parent now inside the relative layout take one progress bar its height and width to be 30 dp 30 dp give it an id now align it centrally vertical that is true now take one text view that height and width should be wrap coordinate now add text that is submit add text color that is white text size to be 20 now align it the center into parent that is true give it an id now we need to align the progress button to the left of the text view so go to progress button add layout left of also make the text that is bold text style to be bold add padding that is 6 dp gravity to be center also make it invisible that is gone its visibility to be gone now go to the class file that is java class now first fetch the progress button that is progress bar that is find view id r dot id dot progress bar same with the text view now we will set and click listener on the text view so add one text view text listener that is set on click listener now inside the text we will set the text to be please wait and we will make visibility of the progress bar to visible now we need a time to show the progress bar so that we will use the handler that will allow to communicate with the UI thread so new handler looper dot get main looper and we will override the dot post layout post delete we will override the run method now we will add time duration that of 4 second for the 4 second that progress bar will be displayed now inside the grid we will change the text that is task done also make the visibility gone this progress bar now you can move it from here from the another class I am having already one class so I will add an intent to the main activity and also add the color to the text that is 3dd c84 that is color dot parse color that is start activity new intent get application context and main activity dot class so let's execute it 
and see the output. So now you can see that this is submit button. Now here progress bar is running. You can see that we have moved to the another class. That is another activity. Let's run it again. You can check recent video for this activity. Now this is how it works. Hope you guys like this video. If you like, don't forget to subscribe and do share with your friends. Thank you.